Hello. Hello, teacher. How's going? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. All right. How are you today? I'm fine. It's, I, I am fine. <laughs> good. What happened yesterday? Yeah, I I I had uh, some problem in, because uh, I don't have the privacy because of uh, many visiting in my my re relative in, in my house. <laughs> yeah, you have, you it's have so much. Problems. Yes, sir. <laughs> I couldn't yesterday, but but uh, the the day the day the day before yesterday, I have some results some problem in my job. Oh, you did? Yes. You had to resolve some problems. Yes. Oh, okay. I have everything's to okay now. Yes, everything's okay today, today. Okay. I am waiting for the <laughs> for the finish of this course. The, tomorrow is the last day for <laughs> Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay, everything okay then. Veronica, how are you? Are you there, Veronica? Hello? Okay, maybe Ver Rosa, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you? Sorry, teacher, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now, fine. Uh, it's the problem with my health phones. Oh, okay, no problem. So, how yes. are you? What's new? Oh, uh, good. Um, just a, a little tiber for the commute. I stop it uh, in the middle of the traffic because um, for my home, it's very traffic. <laughs> no, the traffic was horrible today. Horrible, yes. And I yes. this is great. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Uh, and the traffic was like that all day. Yes. It's a it's a do uh, the, 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 the 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 season the before the the Christmas meal. Yes, and imagine this is with no pandemia, with yes. pandemia. Imagine no pandemia. Yes, uh, I know it was terrible. Uh, Imagine it's today, it's not paid day. It was yesterday. I don't know why today is a lot of traffic. It's true, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Oh my God, Gio is wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> so, so Gio is happy today. Yeah, yes, because the last days. <laughs> Gio is happy today. Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo had some problems with Mota in his job. <laughs> yes, it's every day because it's uh, in the environment. It's uh, so we have to protect and wear wear a wear a mask. Is uh, is uh, the full time. Not not the only pandemia. This is uh, for the for the mota <laughs> invite. Yeah. So for you, using a mask was like, oh, okay. I use it every day anyway. Yes, yes, it's yes. I, I I I I wear. I used to wear a a mask about uh, 20, 29 years ago. <laughs> oh no, I I've been used to wearing a mask for twenty nine years now. For uh, yes, yes. Until until beginning the 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 um, I mean the, the actually job <laughs> until your actual job yes yes it's true and I see Carla is in Ruth is in how are you how are you ladies I'm fine thanks hello good evening hello. Mm -hmm. Who is going to work on the 
on Christmas. Probably me. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. We work like the twenty fourth and twenty fifth. No, it's three days. Oh, okay. Some people work. Yeah. People in the supermarkets. Supermarkets. People who attend open. clients. Yes. The show must go on. <laughs> Good, that song. Can you excuse me one second, please? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. One minute for silence. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Thank you. Okay. I can't. Oh, there you go. I couldn't open my... I really think somebody hacked me. Why do you say so? Because it's strange. My computer is very strange right now. It's my personal computer, and then it's always asking me for um. It's asking me for my password and if I am new. Mm. It's a good thing I don't have money, so they can't take my money. They could only deposit. <laughs> Yeah, right now I'm trying to open it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, there you go. It's open now. Okay, good. I'm going to hold on. What's wrong with this? Okay. Do you know that Nina Lilian, that the lady who is very um, mm -hmm. <laughs> malcreada, they say? Do you know her? <laughs> is it true she died? Why? I saw like a rest in peace. Mm. Buna descans en paz thing, but I don't know if she... Do you know she's dead? No. I don't know. I haven't seen any of that. Okay, so yesterday we were doing the passives, remember? Mm -hmm. The passive voice is like, um, Cola Champagne is made in El Salvador. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you can give me an example, what is, when do we use a passive? 
there's two big reasons. When something is not so important, not what is that relevant, something? Uh, the the maker. It's not the the, the important the doer the, the action. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. When not the maker in this case is the subject. Subject. Okay. So we speak it passive when the subject is not important, or when we don't know who is the subject. We don't know. Correct. Okay. So that's why we said um, cola champagne is made in in the. In El Salvador. Can you give me another example? I think example, the cat is going to hit the mouse. <laughs> no, but that's a subject. Uh, um, vice versa. Mm -hmm. The mouse is going to be eating by the cat. <laughs> okay, good. So, but if you want to also say it without mentioning the um, Without ah, mentioning the mouse the, is going to, going to be eaten. It's going to be eaten. Yes. Here we don't care if it's a cat or who's going to do it, but it's going to be eaten. By the Chinese. <laughs> it's pretty much by a Chinese person. <laughs> Have you seen those videos that they get a snake alive? Yeah. They uh, eat. Oh my god. Yeah, have you seen when they have a lot of rats? Yes. And they put it in boiling water. <laughs> no, but no, you know, one one time that I oh man, that was sad and that's not correct. I know it's bad because I eat meat, but there was like this fancy dish in China that they give you a frog and they put the frog alive in the cup. And when you're there, they open the frog. <laughs> so you start eating from the frog. like, mm. And I promise you, you can see that video on YouTube and you see the frog alive, like moving the, you know, and you see them <laughs> like, oh. like, you know, like fancy people here drinking wine, you know? Mm. And I said, no, no, that's not right. Too much. That's... For reasons like that, I want to become a vegetarian, <laughs> but 10 minutes later, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to be a vegetarian. It's it, not. No, no, it's not impossible, but it's very expensive. And uh, there's another point. Especially to be a vegan. Yeah, it's worse. Yeah, you can't. It's too expensive to be a vegan. Yeah. Okay. Look, I'm there is a garbanzo burgers. Uh huh. That is really, that is really uh, deli delicious. Garbanzos, like the green ones, the peas. For our eating mm. a life. Um, gar no, garban garbanzos are white pints, white. Okay. And you can eat it in tamales. Oh, okay. Or oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. With fish. There's a yes, hamburger for uh -huh. Yeah, that is. There are made of um, garbanzos, and sometimes with rice, and and that is really really good. Or Salami, vegetarian salami. They are made from mushrooms, and I don't remember the other ingredients. But it's really oh, cool, and it's a oh. good option. Yeah, but I imagine it's very expensive. Mm. Yeah. And you can prepare it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> are you watching the video, Gio? Yes. <laughs> I think so. I told you. <laughs> she looks. She wow. looks like. <laughs> are they? Are they in a restaurant Man, like eating girls? Yes. With the house body. <laughs> and they're eating normal, like oh. 
Yeah, it it, it looked like um, it looked like uh, uh, shrimps in salsa rosada. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's it's it looks like a shrimp cocktail. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think that's too much. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not nice. That's not. That's not cool. Have you seen the the, the those people eating the the little rats, newborn no. rats? Yeah. And, no. and they're moving. <laughs> and, <yeah. laughs> that that's so the only. <laughs> that's the only thing I could say good about Donald Trump is that. He really said China invented this. Is China? Is China? Is China? He was not very democratic in that. He was straight forward. Yeah. You know, when the when the press asked him, uh, <laughs> "Where did the virus start?" Don't ask me. Ask China. Yeah. They did it. They did it. They will pay. They will pay. <laughs> He was, I think he was the only one that had the, the guts. Eggs, eggs. <laughs> yeah, you know, in English, in English, you don't say eggs. In English, you say guts. Guts, yeah. Guts, guts. is G-U-T-S, guts. So <clears throat> he's the only one that had the guts to tell them in, in their face. China did it, China did it. And they will pay. They will pay. But I think, watch, I think in some future, like in 10, 20 years, Donald Trump will be more famous now than, than in that time than now. People are going to say, hey, he was right. Mm -hmm. He was right. Mm -hmm. Do you see my screen? The Perspectives Quiz Show. Do you see it? Yes. Um, yes. I just expanded it. Good, it's opening. Du, 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 du. Okay, it says casting director, location scout, screenwriter, dialect coach, prop designer, script doctor. Who do you think is the... Um, Casting director. Casting director. Okay, let's do number one. Is A, blank, who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes, gets to travel over the world. Location is scout. Location is scout. Yeah. I would love to be that. Imagine a location scout. Yeah. Yeah. We do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can, can you imagine that? A, G, or we're going to make a movie about surfing. Can you go look for locations? Oh yeah, I no did problem. It already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For no country. problem. I would have to go to Brazil, Central, Central America, <laughs> and Chile. I have to go and see and find the best spot. Oh, okay, no problem. Go. Go with the company <laughs> credit card. <laughs> that must be cool. Yeah. But imagine A G O uh we have to make a movie about MAS Trece. <laughs> 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 Can you go find some, um, some appropriate <laughs> appropriate places to shoot? Uh, yeah, I rather not. <laughs> no, okay, no. slow. <laughs> okay, number two is A is someone who chooses an actor for That's each company. part. Casting yeah. Cas director. Director. Casting director. And an alianza game. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Alianza Fast Game. You go, but you can, come back. Uh, so I'm sorry. So number two is A blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part um, part in a movie. Who would that be? A casting di director. A casting director. Good. Number three is A blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Prop designer. Prop, prop designer. designer. Yes. Do you know what is a prop? 
<laughs> the things that we use as when we mm. when do you want when to make a shoot like in a commercial yeah but but yes but there's also like um the object it's an object but sometimes it's fake yeah you know, sometimes you see like a big rock in the back, you say, wow, that's a big rock. You say, no, it's yeah. a prop. You know, when, when we make shoots about food, the, the food, not only the real food, it, it is um, sometimes there will be oil or car oil or things like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Like when you make ice cream, it's mashed potato or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've heard about that, that in the commercials, in the pancakes, when you see the syrup, like, mm, it's, yeah. it's oil, car oil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but it works. Yeah, it works, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Next, is someone who develops and expands a story mm. idea into a full movie script? Screenwriter. A screenwriter. That must be that must be an interesting job. Mm -hmm. Because imagine I have this idea. Can you do write the screen, <laughs> the screenwriting? Mm -hmm. Okay, A blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. I like Kosh. You know, in this case, I really think that Hollywood is bad. In in dialect coaches. I'll give you an example. Have you no, have you noticed like when when you see a Latino on a, on a movie, mm -hmm. they can't speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They can't. They can't speak Spanish. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, um, did you see uh, Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember Hector Salamanca. Uh, Gustavo, when they were having the dialects in Spanish, y esto que eran, in, the, in the show eran nativos de, de Mexico, they couldn't speak Spanish. Por que no te ven acá, amigo? Ven a tomarte un trago conmigo. You know? <laughs> yeah, and I said, oh my God, that's, that's a very, very no-no. Because... Ahí sale el, el amigo de Tony Montana, remember? Tony yeah, Montana. In um, in Scarface is from Manny. Uh, Lewisano. No, no. no. Yeah, no. Uh, Manny and 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 cara corta in Scarface. Ah, Manny. El que se casa con la hermana. Mm. Oh, well, anyways, he was born in the United States from maybe from a Mexican family, but yeah. in all the movies he plays like he's a Mexican. Man, no, and he can't speak no. They can't speak Spanish. Many Ray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number six, it says, is, uh, I'm sorry, a blank, who is, who used when original screen, I'm sorry, the who screenplay. Who is used? I can't believe I can't. I can't read it. Yeah. I am totally no blind. A blank who is used an original screenplay needs more work, make jokes funnier, and dialogue more realist realistic. Who would that be? The last one. Script doctor. Script doctor. Script script doctor. Yeah, but I this is not correct grammatically. A script doctor is someone who is used when an original yeah, is, they forgot the is. Okay, let's listen to the audio. Yeah, listen to the audio. 
<laughs> there you go. Download. Oh. Yep. Mama. Come on. No, we did the passive voice. We did that yesterday. The, sometimes it's hard for me to see the screen because I have two extra screens more because I am the administrator and I have all your faces. So sometimes that blocks the original screen. Mm. And, and I don't think you can see it. Hey, what happened? The passive voice we did yesterday. Yeah. Four point five. It's four point five, right? Yeah. There you go. Page 95, hear? exercise nine, yeah. perspectives, quiz show, part A, listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? One, a uh, blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes, gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier, and dialogues more realistic. So we did all those, right? Yes. Okay. I don't want to put it because it could get stuck. I heard today that the whole day, uh, the it was bad. The um... the platform. Okay, check this out. It says defining and non-defining relative clauses. This this one's gonna be interesting. Let's hear it. I know we have studied relative clauses before. But this time, we'll learn a little bit more. Stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses, defining and non-defining relative clauses. 
Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose to and describe what they do using defining or non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Okay, so look at this, it says, the actor who started in that movie is very talented. Why is this, why is this um, defining relative clause? Because the information in the clause is necessary. It shows us the person is, it shows us the, uh, who we're talking about, who is being described. Okay. Um, I feel sorry for the security guard that works in Dollar City. Do you understand that? Who works in Dollar City is not necessary. No, I'm actually, I'm, I am defining a relative clause because I'm explaining. Okay. Uh, I feel sorry for them because literally they have to be standing the complete day. Uh, have you noticed? I have, I mean, they, they don't even have a chair where to stand. Yeah. Pobrecitos, man. They're always walking around. Sometimes they, they're even have their lunches, a stand up. Yes. You know, and that's not, that's not cool, man, because... You get tired. You can't be standing up 10 hours. Okay. Um, excuse me. Hold on. Sorry. I saw a big gecko. Okay. And next, what do we have? So it says the information in the clause is necessary. So the security guard, that's, that's not it yet, that works in um, Dollar City, that's the information I'm giving. Mm -hmm. In the non-defined class. For clause, example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after. So let me relate my example to this. So in the non, in the um, non, non-related, that I'm not giving example, I would say my friend, uh, my friend who works in Dollar City stands all day. Okay. Let I want see. to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose to and the clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented.
I don't really like this example because it says the information is not necessary, but it is giving an information. Because normally it would be Tom Cruise is very talented. Hello? Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, because look, look what it says here. Non-defined relative clause, the information isn't necessary. Okay, so Tom Cruise is talented. If you know who is Tom Cruise, good for you. If you don't, I'm sorry. Hmm. That would be a non-defining relative clause. But if I'm using a defining relative clause is Tom Cruise, who is an actor, is a very respected actor in Hollywood. Do you understand? That would be a defining clause. Do you understand? Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. And Tom Cruise is a great actor. He's a good actor, but he needs to make good good movies that show good acting. He runs in the same way in uh, the whole in all movies. But have you seen a movie called from Tom Cruise, uh, Born Fourth of July? No. Man, that movie is. It says to Tom Hanks, so, so Forrest Gump. You know how like you can say, I, uh, that, that's an expression because you can say, yeah, Tom Hanks is okay, it's not, but if you watch Forrest Gump, ya no importa si él hizo malas o buenas películas. He did Forrest Gump and what an actor. Like Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro now, he makes 10 movies a year and they're terrible. But Robert De Niro was Mr. Corleone. So uh, in that movie, um, it's called Born Fourth of July. It's a very good movie from Tom Tom Cruise. He goes to the um, to the Vietnam War, and he's very patriotic. Like, yeah, USA, USA, and I, I, the government, the government. But when he returns to America. He returns in a wheelchair and and he noticed that the government didn't care. I'm like, oh. you know, everything the, pro the government promised, after that, they, you know, it shows what the government, they didn't help the injured soldiers, et cetera, et cetera. So you see Tom Cruise go crazy. It's, it's a very good movie. If you like good acting, if you like to watch movies with good acting, that's a good movie. Con Tomás, Tomás Cruz. Have you seen Magnolia? Oh, oh my Lord. It's a new one. Yeah. The, the scene when, when he's crying to the father, remember? Mm -hmm. Remember the scene when he's crying to the father? Die, die. That's, that's a great movie. I watched that movie with my wife. Yeah, I watch, I tell my wife, look, this is good acting, my wife. That's boring. That's ugly. <laughs> <my God. laughs> yeah. But also, I have an extra room that has a TV and cable. And, and you know, like, sometimes I tell my wife, okay, hoy, don't talk to me the whole day, porque me voy a echar the godfather. Just, One, just two, bring me three. food and drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> We tried, we tried that, intentamos, but it's impossible, you know, to have a movie night. Like one week I choose, one week you choose. And, you know, I had to watch Sex in the City. You know, I was like, oh, God. But, but I did my part. I did my part. I watched it. But when we watch my movies... This is boring. I don't like it. Like, oh my God, you know, you wish that remote control, you wish that the remote control, you can control your wife and the TV, you know. <laughs> so no more movie nights. You're bad. No, no, it's not bad. It's just that we don't, in that, in, in movies, we don't, we don't, 
click. Don't match. <laughs> yeah, click. we don't click on that. In music, we click. When I met her, she only listened to Mana and Ricardo Arjona. Now she listens to Radiohead. So, <laughs> so we're better now. <laughs> okay, so let me see Ricardo Romero. Ricardo. You're mute. mute? You're, you are on mute, sir. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Ricardo, what is in your, in your, what is an accountant? What is your account? company? Yeah, what does an accountant do? The, 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 the accountant is a, uh, Organize the, the information about contable, contable results. Okay, good. Okay, class, do you think this was a relative or non-relative clause? It's a non-relative clause. Exactly, it's not mm -hmm. because he just said it's simple what an accountant is. Mm. Yes? If you want okay. to say a relative clause, you give a little bit additional information. An accountant, a person who has to be very organized with numbers and laws, right? Um, works on doing the company's accounting. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's a relative clause because I gave a little bit more of um, extra. Uh, yeah, I, I gave extra information. Mm. Like a pupusa is made from dough and cheese and beans. Is that relative or non-relative? It's a relative. 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 Okay, it's subjective actually because if I want to add more, 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 um, more, I can say a pupusa which is a Salvadorian typical food, it's made from rice and bean, uh, from, mm -hmm. from cheese and beans. That could be a relative because I gave extra information. Relative, extra information. Yeah, so don't get, don't get confused because I said a pupusa is made from beans and cheese. I just gave information, the, the, the short, simple information. But if I want to give more information, it would be a relative clause, like a pupusa, which is a Salvadorian typical food plate, is made from rice and beans. Okay, Rosa Elena, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you tell me what is a margarita? The beverage or the flower? <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, the beverage. Please. The flower of the drink. <laughs> You're talking to me, please, the drink. Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. Oh. <laughs> it's, made, uh, it's made with um, tequila and, and what else? Um, coconut, uh, coconut uh, cider. And um, what is this? Um, pineapple sign? Yeah, pineapple. Oh, well, it depends on your, what, what you prefer, but it could okay. be of um, a strawberry too, okay. or with um, guanaba. I don't know what is it, the name is. Guanaba, yes, very good. Thank you. Very good. Okay. All right, so, <laughs> so margarita is a drink made from tequila and exotic fruits. Other fruits, it's true. Exotic fruits, no, or tropical exotic. fruits. Yeah. Okay. Okay, class, is that a relative or non-relative? <laughs> a relative, not non-relative. It's like I told you, it's subjective because Think about it. The question is, what is a margarita? She just gave me the basic answer. 
is tequila with exotic fruits. I would say it's non-relative. Relative, because remember, she did not give me any extra information. She just gave me the, the necessary information. Non-relative. Yeah, it would be non-relative. So relative would be a margarita, which if you drink four or five, it. will get you drunk. It's a drink made mm -hmm. from, from tequila right. and exotic no, foods. Okay. Have you heard the ex example? One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. <laughs> <laughs> Not four, floor. 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 <laughs> yeah. floor. I had a shirt that said one tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. <laughs> All right. So you understand? Basically, is that. I mean, when you give just the necessary information, it's a non-relative. But if you give a little bit of extra information, it's a relative. It's really no big difference. Relative yes? is extra information. Exactly. And non-relative. It's necessary. just the necessary. Yes, it's just necessary information. Example, imagine when, I don't know, you have to explain to your daughter what is the period El periodo that women get that that would have to be a relative clause because but as you have pues el periodo is you, or you can be very normal it's something you get once a month <laughs> that's not relative or you can say relative um, the period is is only only women have it when they start developing their bodies, and you know, they usually get it once a month for, I don't know, three, four, or five days. And those days you are normally very angry and you hate the world. Yeah. Not true. <laughs> and you hate the world. It's just a strange behavior. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that book from? from from algebra baldor uh, yeah yes yes saben que ya salió la versión pero más difícil <laughs> made by women dice nueva versión de baldor con muchos más problemas <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad joke. Yeah, it's a bad joke. You know, I would put that on my Facebook, but now, nowadays, man, I think I have a lot of friends that are like You're a machista. Yeah, you know, like really, that's not <laughs> come on, that's not that's funny. I'm not being hmm. <laughs> Yeah. That that was funny. That that made me laugh too. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. let's continue. Let's go with next. So, in in other words, a relative clause. What's the difference between a relative and unrelative clause? Uh, relative information just or necessary. Okay. <clears throat> or additional not... extra information, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see the knowledge check. He says, a foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in other countries. What did you guys put here? Foreign correspondent writes about even in other countries travel all over the world. What do you think that would be? Maybe a journalist? Be a journalist? It's possible. Um, have you seen the movie um, Amazing Life of Walter Meade? 
of course, that's an awesome movie. The, the, the yeah, it's a really good movie. I love it. But the, the, the part Champagne. of Champagne is the yes. kind of. But, but remember, but Sharon, Champagne was not a correspondent. He was, was a like photographer. A photographer. Yeah, but of course. Hmm? That will be in a in a journalist. That will be that figure. Yes, also too. That's why that's why we're going to do it like this because it says a foreign correspondent. They could be a journalist. It can be a a YouTuber. <laughs> or or in it can be mm -hmm. a YouTuber. It can be a photographer. Because what they do is they travel all over the world, you know, who writes about events in other countries. También un, un, uh, un. What is your profession, Gio? A graphic designer. No, okay, good. No, there wouldn't be a graphic designer. Who writes about events in other countries. Um, un sería un, I don't know, somebody who studies marketing. And, and this guy, Alan, uh, Alan por el mundo, he talks about travels and things like that. Who? I don't know. It's Alan por el mundo. It's oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's a cooker? That guy died, I think. No? He was a cooker. Yeah, I think. What's that? A chef. Talking about, uh, yeah, a chef. What's that? Talking about uh, some plates around the world, and yes. tasting, and talking about the, the taste, the preparation, people who prepare the, the, the food. Mm -hmm. But yes. I think he died. Is the bald guy? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Nah. Was white hair? I don't know. Right. White hair. Yeah, dead. I think he com the the guy uh, that. That committed suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony Bourdain. Oh, he, he actually Anthony, said yeah, that one is true. his favorite dish were pupusas in Latin America. I think he said yeah, that. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Do you know Martha Stewart? Have you seen when she had pupusas in her show? No. Yeah, she, yeah, she did. She had it. She said... Do you know what is a flea market? Um, flea market. Mercado Pulgas. Oscar? Mercado Pulgas. Uh -huh. But the, the problem here, no, it's called flea market, Mercado Pulgas. But that really doesn't exist here in El Salvador. Uh, a flea market is un mercado, but they sell everything. There's the cosas usadas, a fruta, but it's very organized. You know, let's say you go here to, uh, when you go here, like to Antigua Cusetlán, hay un mercado, right? But there, normally you will only find food or vegetables. But in the United States, you go, they're big. They're extremely big. They're like, I don't know, like La Uca, big. It's like a big, big supermarket in the, in the outdoors. And what you do is people go and just walk, you know. You buy uh, cosas usadas. Um, you know, if you want to sell your things, then you go, you know, one week, hey, I want to rent a, a spot. Can you rent me a spot? Yeah, what are you going to sell? Cosas viejas. So Martha Stewart, she said, I like going to the flea markets in every, in every town. And she says that she likes to eat food. In, in the in the and she says that one thing caught her attention and she saw a big big line and she says I have to try that and it was pupusas pupusas <laughs> yeah. pero me, lo que me cayó mal que llevó a un chef invitado que la hiciera y era hondureño uh... y empieza uh, pupusas are a typical food from Honduras También de Centroamérica en otros países. Like, he was saying, like, putting primor primarily, like, Honduras. Yeah. And you're like, yay, that's not... Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. he was he was taking the credit for Honduras of pupusas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y después, if you watch that video, no sé si aún está, empiezan a ver otro, hay otro que, oh my god. Hay uno que empieza a hacer pupusas. With beans enteros. En Pura chicha. Miranda fue la maestra. No. <laughs> no, no, but that's not the bad, that's not the worst part. La chicharra, el chicharrón era chicharra, like chicharra, no. Chicharra. De la Diana. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, and, but really, really, you know what I, I my conclusion was that Okay, maybe the chef, the pupusa chef, no llegó ese día. Mm -hmm. And they had to improvise. Hey, you have to cook. What? Pupusa. <laughs> well. <laughs> How do you make that? Pork and beans. And say, hey, consígame pork and beans. Because really, he did everything wrong. It's like he read it real quick. And, okay, so le ponen medio. Just do that. Okay, do, I'll do it. Don't worry. And he starts doing it. It's the guy's like, oh, my God. <laughs> But that Miranda woman, she really is. Con caña era. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Only como hacer una receta de pupusas con caña, salsa y su caña. Y el chocolate parece también. <laughs> Pero esa mujer se la acabaron con memes. <laughs> You know, I felt sorry for her because I said, no, that's not, that's not very respectful. But when you watch the video, you say, come on, no, man. No, I say, te lo merece, maitre. But she was th thinking of... There's no explanation for that. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. next it says, a web page designer needs sophisticated computer knowledge. A web page designer, comma, who is a graphic artist, needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Yes. All right. Non-relative, right? Yes, non-relative. An editorial a, a editorial page editor gives opinions about current issues. Who is actually a newspaper columnist? Mm -hmm. What do you think this is? An editorial page editor who is a daily newspaper columnist gives opinions about current issues. <clears throat> so this is relative, right? Yeah. Non-relative. Non-relative. No definition, definite, defining relative close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, all right. And next, a gossip columnist writes about celebrities and scandals who gets to go to fabulous parties. Life. What would that be? A gossip columnist, comma? who gets to go to Facebook time, mm -hmm. writes about celebrities and scandals. Good. Good. You know what gossip is, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I think the news, the, the, the news channels, they do a very, very bad job here in the gossip columnists. Yeah. It's like they choose anything from, from Facebook or like anything. <laughs> y en el espectáculo, hoy... Se vio a Brad Pitt entrando a un restaurante y pidió una hamburguesa de queso. <laughs> bueno, amigos, muchas gracias. Espero mañana. Como and the bad joke. <laughs> hey, you know, and, and, you know, that's it. That, that's like, really, that's your news? Mm. Chava, you only have like three minutes on, on screen and you have one whole day to plan a good, a good gossip. And that's your gossip. Yeah. Like in, in, in la prensa. Pepe y Irene están ah. de vacaciones. Man, man. A mí me bloquearon, man. They blocked. <laughs> Yo le escribía, like, Pepe y Irene están de vacaciones. <laughs> uh -huh. 
¿Podrían dar el día que vienen para ir a traerlos en caravana, por favor? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Okay, it's about that, man. <laughs> no, but you know, um, it, it's crazy. It, it, it's. I have a very, very, very good friend. Just like my brother is. Uh, you know Roberto Acosta? Yes. Okay, yeah, him. I grew up with him, so we were like brothers when we were little. But, you know, when we got married, you know, we separated as friends. But we're always in contact. We go out sometimes. And um, it's crazy, man. O sea, we go to the supermarket. I remember one time we were in the supermarket buying tequila. And, and la empleadas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> are you serious, man? Baby. Yeah, they, they go crazy. <laughs> O sea, por eso es que me puedo ver de que por eso es que piensas Pepe y Irene vienen. People actually read that. You know, oh my God, are you, are you the Roberto? Yes. Y yo parecía que era el motorista de ellos. ¿no? <laughs> Because, mire, ¿me puedo tomar una foto con él? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and Roberto tells me, it's crazy, man. Y me dice, well, if, I, if I go to a pueblo, It's crazy. Yeah. Was, yeah, he says, like, everybody, like, oh, my God, and they hit your car. No, hold on. That's right. You say, yeah, really, man? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess the news works because um, it works, I guess. All right, so that's a gossip. You understand gossip then, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Okay, and we'll finish this tomorrow, okay? The reading part. Okay, I hope you have a great night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's only Wednesday. But remember, from, from this day on, every day is going to feel like Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a great day. Thank you very much for everything. Bye -bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Hey, bye, Ronnie.